being a part of small groups. Uh, I'm excited about what God's doing and how he's bringing us together and uh, just an exciting time to be a part of the kingdom of God. So we uh, covered last week in our last video, we covered the first three days of 30 Days to Life. Today we'll cover uh, the, the second three days or days four, five, and six. And uh, so we start on page number 15 and I'm excited because this is a great day. We're gonna cover some really cool uh, elements. So day number uh, four on page 15, is God wants to talk to me. And uh, we talk several times about how we need to communicate with God and we want to be in communication with Him. Uh, and it's so very important for us to understand that uh, God really wants to have a relationship with us. It's not just like we pray because we go to church or we pray because we're Christians. We communicate with God because God wants to have communication with us. He wants to be in communion and in communication with us. So. I'd like for us to look at um, number three, and it says, according to Hebrews 4, 16, what is God's desire for us? So uh, after having read Hebrews 4, 16, you, you understand that it's God's desire for us to come boldly before him, to uh, not be timid, to not be shy when it comes to asking God for the things that we need. Uh, he wants us to come make those petitions, make those requests to him. He does not want us to be shy. Uh, also, um, I wanted to draw your attention to uh, the fifth question there and where it says, in your own words, what does verse 7 mean to you? Um, and this is just what I put, that uh, talking about the peace of God that passes all understanding. I put God's peace that, we'll, that we will never fully understand will keep us sane and secure in him. Uh, God's peace is what is there for us as we communicate with Him, as we talk to Him, as we are in daily communication with Him. Um, you know, it's one of those things where if we don't ever talk to Him, if we never have communication with Him and He doesn't communicate with us, uh, if we're not open to that, then what happens is we miss out on some really uh, important security and sanity in our lives. Uh, so that's those are uh, good points that I think that we, we could take. Um, I would like for you to spend some time in your group or, or with whoever you're discussing this with uh, to go over Ephesians 3.20 and number 11 uh, on day 4 and then also to explain what you are thankful for. Uh, the end of day 4 is what you're thankful for. Um, and maybe if you feel comfortable enough, why don't you share before you uh, leave Park Company, uh, why don't you share what you are going to ask God to do, what, what you need God to do in your life right now. So those are some great things. Um, and I would say day four is very powerful in that it helps us understand that we can have better communication with God, that God really wants to communicate with us. Uh, day five is about me and my Bible. Uh, we understand the Bible is God's word. It's been given to us by God. Uh, our uh, day tells us as we go through and we see the scriptures, it's given by the inspiration of God. It's, it's powerful for us. It's uh, equipping us. It helps us. There's so many things that it does. Um, and it says in 1 Peter 2.2 2, on number 2, it says, Carefully and in your own words, write what this means to you. Um, and I just put, just like babies need their mother's milk to survive and to grow, uh, we need God's word to spiritually uh, mature and grow and to become who God has intended us to be. Um, I also would like to draw your attention to uh, the sixth uh, question there. It says, in your own words, why is it important to read the Bible every day? Some people don't even know. They think, well, it's just a, a Christian habit that I have to do and I understand I have to do this. Well, no, no, no. The reason that you have to do this is because it gives you an opportunity to have the power of God in your life. It gives you an opportunity to have the sanity uh, that God and his power bring into your life. And uh, this is what, what I put, it helps us to be matured spiritually. So why is it important to read the Bible every day? To be matured spiritually and to equip us to do every good thing that God has intended for us to do. Uh, so those are those are good. I would like for you to focus uh, in day five. I'd like for you to focus on questions seven and nine um, and even 11 if you have time for it. And uh, there's so many great things. What? How do we let the word of Christ inhabit or occupy our lives? 
uh, just powerful ways. There's there's so many ways. You're actually doing one by getting together and discussing this with somebody uh, because you're you're basically talking about scriptures and you're saying, how do these scriptures apply to our life? How can we apply these scriptures to our life? That's a powerful way to get the word of God to reside or to occupy your life. Uh, and then day six, and I know some of you are probably thinking, pastor has lost his mind. He's, he's standing with a bunch of boxes. Um, so I, this is what I wanted to, I wanted to kind of bring this video to a head here in day number six, as we talk about dealing with my past. Um, many of you know I moved recently and we still have several boxes where we're some some we can't unpack because we're just we don't really have the room and space or a place to put it uh, but so many people live their spiritual lives um, with so much stuff packed away in boxes so much stuff that has never been unpacked has never been unloaded has, it's just it's just in there it's taken up space and uh, it brings people down and so um, when we moved, we found things that we forgot we even had. We, we found things that we were like, wow, we, this is still here. Uh, and, you know, if you'll pray and you'll talk to God and you'll, you'll make a, an honest attempt to deal with your past, what you'll find is that there are some things that God wants you to deal with. So I want to start today with uh, number two. And number two uh, is Psalm 86.5 in your own words. And this is what I put, God, you are always good. You are eager to cancel my debts and you have more than enough mercy to do it. Um, I'm so thankful that God cancels our debts. I'm so thankful that he helps us unpack the spiritual boxes in our life that uh, we, we may have grudges or, or hurts or uh, we may have some things that, you know, mistakes and sins that we have committed, things that we have done. And some of those things we just need to unload, we need to get rid of um, whenever we were packing up to move we took several trips to the goodwill and to the uh to junk and to you know people that needed stuff because we just we didn't need it it, it had to come out uh, in order for us to be able to move on and sometimes you just need to deal with your past in order to be able to move on number four says psalm 103 10 to 12 gives us insight on how god deals with our sins what does this verse tell us about our past so what does this verse speak to you about your past? And I put, God doesn't give us what we truly deserve. He remembers our, uh, or he, he removes our sins from us and us from our sins if we'll let him. So you may be asking God to take your sins away, but maybe God's saying, I want you to remove yourself from some of your sins. I want you to remove yourself from some of the things that keep pulling you back in, that keep holding you down. So I want to encourage you uh, to do that today. And that's kind of uh, the question, question number seven, that I'd like for you guys to discuss uh, as you partner up or as you're in your group. Question seven, question eight. Those are both great questions. I'd like for you to answer those. And then uh, on number 10, First uh, John 1 9 how does admitting that we have sinned relate to being forgiven if we will admit it God will remit it if we will admit it God will remit it we have to first admit we've got a problem that we're a sinner that we have sinned and that we've got things in our past that we need to deal with and if we will admit it God will help us he will wash away our sins he will give us hope for the future he will empower us to be everything he has for us to be but we first have to come to that acknowledgement of who we are and where we are and what's going on in our past and some of us we just need to get into those boxes and say god i've held this hurt for too long i've held this grudge for too long i've held this pain for too long would you forgive me would you help me to move on and unpack those boxes and allow god to do a great work in your life i want to pray for you as we close out today so pray with me and let's just ask god to to speak into our lives god we are so thankful that we have the power of prayer and we can communicate with you and we can uh, draw close to you. We're so thankful, God, that we know who you are and that we're able to actually have a, a relationship with you that you want to speak to us and you want us to speak to you and you want us to tell you everything, God, and, and, and cast our cares and our burdens upon you. And then, God, we're so thankful because you've given us your word that leads us and guides us. And God, your spirit uh, empowers us to understand and apply your word to our life. And and then, God, that you would deal with our past. You would help us, God, as we try to unpack some boxes and 
we not only forgive others, but we forgive ourselves, and we ask you to forgive us, God, and we move forward. So tonight, Lord, we're asking you to do a great work in our life. We're praying for your forgiveness, Lord, for everything in our past that's not pleasing you, and everything, God, that would keep us from being who you want us to be. God, that you would forgive us and help us to move forward. And Lord, I pray that for each and every one, that they would make some steps towards you this week, and that they would not just ask you to remove their sins, but God, that they would themselves remove themselves from their sins uh, and start moving away from those things and move towards you. And God, I know that as they do that, you will meet them, God. You will love them. You will wash their sins away and you will forgive them completely. God, I thank you for your word and for what you're doing. Thank you for each and every one that uh, has gathered with somebody and Lord, that they are discussing this together. I pray, God, that you would help us to become uh, who you have intended us to be. And God, we will give you the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great night.